Jesus, a central figure in Christianity, is believed to be the Son of God by Christians. His teachings, life, and eventual crucifixion are foundational to the Christian faith. The events leading up to his death, including the significance of Good Friday, are deeply rooted in Christian theology and history. According to Christian belief, Jesus was born to the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem around 4 BCE. He grew up in Nazareth and began his public ministry around the age of 30, preaching about the kingdom of God, performing miracles, and teaching about love, forgiveness, and salvation. His teachings, often delivered through parables, challenged religious authorities and societal norms of his time. The death of Jesus on Good Friday is a pivotal event in Christian theology, seen as the culmination of his earthly mission. According to Christian doctrine, Jesus' death serves several profound purposes. 1. Atonement for sin Christians believe that Jesus' death was a sacrificial offering to atone for the sins of humanity. This concept, known as the doctrine of atonement, is central to Christian theology. It teaches that Jesus, as the sinless Son of God, willingly sacrificed himself to pay the penalty for humanity's sins, thus reconciling humanity with God. 2. Victory over death and sin Christians view Jesus' death as a victory over sin and death itself. Through his crucifixion and subsequent resurrection, Jesus conquered the power of sin and death, offering the promise of eternal life to those who believe in him. 3. Fulfillment of prophecy Christians believe that Jesus' death fulfilled numerous prophecies found in the Hebrew Scriptures, Old Testament, demonstrating his identity as the long-awaited Messiah, Christ. These prophecies include references to a suffering servant who would bear the sins of others and bring salvation to the world. 4. Demonstration of God's love Jesus' willingness to endure suffering and death, according to Christian belief, serves as the ultimate demonstration of God's love for humanity. The Apostle Paul wrote in the New Testament that God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5 verse 8, NIV. The events leading up to Jesus' crucifixion on Good Friday are recounted in the New Testament Gospels, which describe his betrayal by Judas Iscariot, his arrest by the Jewish religious authorities, his trial before the Roman governor Pontius Pilate, and his subsequent crucifixion. According to the Gospel accounts, Jesus was accused of blasphemy and sedition, charges that led to his condemnation by both Jewish and Roman authorities. Good Friday, observed by Christians on the Friday before Easter Sunday, commemorates the crucifixion and death of Jesus. It is a solemn day marked by prayer, reflection, and remembrance of Jesus' sacrifice. Many Christian denominations hold special services on Good Friday, including the veneration of the cross and the reading of the Passion narrative. The significance of Good Friday extends beyond mere historical remembrance for Christians. It is a day of profound spiritual contemplation, reminding believers of the depth of God's love and the cost of their redemption. Through the lens of Christian faith, Good Friday represents the ultimate expression of God's grace and mercy, as well as the hope of salvation for all who believe in Jesus Christ. In summary, Jesus, believed by Christians to be the Son of God, died on Good Friday as a sacrificial offering for the sins of humanity. His death is understood to have profound theological significance, including atonement for sin, victory over death and sin, fulfillment of prophecy, and demonstration of God's love. Good Friday holds a central place in Christian liturgy and devotion, serving as a solemn day of remembrance and reflection on the core beliefs of the Christian faith. My Lord bless you and your family.